This 4 tips and new doors update will make you to forget about you. And you will never need to count the room numbers again to avoid him. So watch until then and I promise you that you will be a lot better doors player if you will follow my tips. And subscribe on my channel to see more of the amazing videos like this. And you know, when I've encountered Duke for the first time, I didn't even knew that he exists. And I was just straight up rushing through the hotel without noticing that I'm going into a room with the wrong number. And of course, I've got punished for that. <laughs> and after that game, I tried to memorize the number of each room that I enter, just to avoid dupe. And I still failed. But then, with multiple runs, I've noticed a few things that changed the way that I play doors forever. And I haven't been trying to memorize the number of the door that I went to again. It's just because Tube has only one brain cell and is even more stupid than Bob the Skeleton. Because he scratches the old room numbers so you won't look at them to help yourself and now we're going to change it. And our first tip is that when you enter a room and you see that there's a few numbered doors, just don't move! Don't move! Just slowly. Turn your camera back, and you'll still be able to see the number of the room that you've just entered. And it will only disappear when your character will start walking, because huh? it will trigger dupe's script. And like this, you can easily know which room to enter. And then in the second method, we need the help of our friends. But don't worry, because by friends I mean Russian numbers. And some of you might say, Barros, what the hell? In which place are these two flying annoying PNGs are friends to us? They've killed me for a hundred times, and that's another very friendly thing to do, yo! And you know what? You're goddamn right. But often, Rush spawns in the same room with you. And as you know, Rush always moves into the next room. And the catch in here is that Rush will always go into the real door and he will ignore the dangerous one with dupe behind it. So like this, he helps us to find the right door so we won't get killed by dupe. And I think that's quite epic. And the third method that I'm going to tell you right now is the one that I use the most because I think it's the coolest one. So, if you forgot in which room you are and you see a lot of different doors and there's no rush or ambush to help you, you probably think that it's the end, and you just need to choose a random door, but no. Just come close to the wall, turn up your volume, and start listening. And if you hear some mumbling and scary noises, then it means that there's dupe hiding behind this door, and that it's fake and dangerous. So if you can hear anything sus behind the wall, then it's the real one and this door is safe to enter. It's actually pretty easy to tell by the sound which door is fake and which is not, so let's play a little game. I'll let you to listen to the sounds of two doors and you'll need to tell in which one we have dupe behind. So let's go. If you said that dupe hides behind a second clip, then you were right! And if you guessed it right, then press like button under this video, so we'll see how many of my viewers are pros at doors! And the last tip works only if dupe has spawned in the room with locked doors. The best part about this life hack is that the key always has the correct number of the room that you need to unlock. So you can just look at it and immediately know which one you're supposed to open. And that's a huge flaw in Dupe's trap, because he forgot to burn the room number on key stack, just like he did with doors. And that's the reason why I think that he's even more stupid than a dead Dupe. So, have you found something new and useful in this video? If your answer is yes, then subscribe on my channel, and you'll know even more of mega useful life hacks in doors and Roblox like this. My name is Pyros, thank you for watching and goodbye! <laughs>